You want to go that slow? I'd like it that slow. We're going to accelerate where you always say they do in measure four. And I'm just going to start at like 60. Should we clip the releases? Well, <laughs> what'd you say? <laughs> Game on. <laughs> All right, top. Don't sound great. <laughs> and. Thirteen to twenty, the right way. Releases should extend into the downbeats, not to the end of the end of one. Just massage the downbeats. He only wrote that because most people are going to stop them in the end of four. So that was a prescriptive thing that he wrote in, but they must go all the way to one. comments on 21. 21 is the first arrival, a mini arrival. It's the first large chord. Measure 33 is major A flat major. We need to exaggerate the A flat ma major in measure 33. 34 and 35 should stay full even though the orchestration has diminished. So 34 and 35 brasses stay bold, very full orchestral forte there. 29 to 32, it's imperative that the eighth notes sound vividly. So if you have eighth notes in 29 to 32, please bring those out.
36, 2, 44. 36 should be as soft as you can play your instrument. Remember that beat 4 and 36 is going to be elongated. It's imperative that there's absolutely zero acceleration. This is a quote from Stephen. I'll quote you, Steve. If you knew everyone was going to accelerate, he would have added more measures. So don't accelerate. Uh, horns and trumpet 2 and 3 need to be huge at measure 39. Huge at measure 39. Horns and trumpet 2 and 3, huge at 39. 41 is a setup. 41 is a setup. 42 is where glory happens. Steve, tied eighth notes, just release on the downbeat or on the beat wherever they land. I want to do it wrongly, okay, Steve? So we're going to, because you, you said this is the most egregious thing where measure 36 accelerates the whole time, right? Yeah, but 41 there is like 100 Okay, <laughs> 35, incorrectly. <laughs> and I'm going to ignore that beat four elongation in 36. 35? And... And play this mezzo forte. Okay, here we are. Try once again. Third, and you, you guys sound too good. Here's 35 and... Um. Yes? I've heard it done exactly like that. <laughs> <laughs> and the horns weren't as good. All right, we're just going to leave that. That's enough for funny. Here's measure before 36. You guys sound awesome. Measure before 36. Don't, don't, don't decay on this. And... Forty-two to fifty-two, these things have to be prominent. Forty-two to forty-four, forty-five to forty-seven, forty-eight to fifty-two are three terrace dynamics. Obvious terraces. So FFF, whatever it is, F, M, F, but really, really demonstratively different. Forty-nine, second tube, a D flat. It's the first time that we're in root position. Very, very important to this. Very important. Prior to this, first inversion, major chords everywhere. Forty-two. It's easy. I, remember what I said about it's easy to want to diminuendo at the end of these sustains. Don't. Do not diminuendo at the end of these sustains. Here we are. Forty-two.
couple things. Uh, 53 to the end is a direct mirror of measure 13, fine. F and C, and then F and D flat at the very end is critical. And flutes, you guys land on that F and D flat. Euphonium finishes the horn line, and you're the only person that goes to that B flat, and it ends as it started. 